Hi everyone, how you doing today? Today we're gonna to make one of my all-time favorites, uh, probably my least one or two favorites in the world, uh, stuffed cabbage or guomki. Uh, let's go over the ingredients. We're gonna start off with uh, two pounds of uh, ground beef. I'm using 75, uh, 25. Uh, Graham always said, the more fat, the better. I agree. But you can use whatever you like. You can use one large uh, head of uh, cabbage, got one uh, diced onion, two eggs, I have two cups of uh, pre-cooked uh, rice. We got four cans of tomato soup. Uh, may need three, but four for uh, just in case. We use a little bit of pepper, salt, uh, paprika, and garlic powder. Uh, and two eggs. All right. First thing we need to do is I have a decord and washed head of cabbage. I have a pot of boiling water already ready. We're going to take this, gently put it in there, not to burn yourself. I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let that uh, boil for about 10 minutes and then I'll show you what's next. Okay, now let's go, uh, let's make our uh, beef or our filling. First, going to take the ground beef, put it in there, get some onions in there, Put that rice in there. I'm going to leave a little bit of rice out just in case it's too much. Oh, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of pepper, more or less if you like, half teaspoon of salt, touch of garlic powder. Now you could use a Garlic cloves, but since I'm not frying it, I like to use the, the garlic powder. And I'm going to use a, about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. You can leave this out if you like, but I definitely like the taste of it. Put it right in there. With a hard spoon, I'm going to blend everything together. Okay, the fun part, I'm going to use my hands to really blend it together. Um, there was plenty with one and a half cups of rice. I'm not going to add any more. But I want to incorporate everything real good with my hands right now. Okay, the filling is done. I'm going to put that in the fridge. But now we're going to go to the cabbage. I've had, it's been boiling. It's been laid out for about 10 minutes. Uh, core side down. What I like to do, oh, it's already coming up. A lot of these uh, bigger outside leaves will come off easy. So just not to uh, overcook them, I try to take them off. Jet. Okay, I take them, just put them off to the side, and let them cool. And I just peel off the ones that want to come off easily. This one still does. Now if they don't want to come off easily, you just wait. That looks like about it for these, the bigger ones. Now I'm going to flip it back over and put the lid on and let it boil for about another 10 minutes. And it should be pretty much ready. But I'll, yeah, let me get the steam off first. All right, uh, it's been 20 minutes total time of boiling. Now I'm gonna try to do the same thing, try to peel off some of these leaves and get this thing out of here. Okay, I got it out. I'm gonna peel off all the leaves I can. Uh, but one th let it cool down, make it much easier. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off all the leaves if anything, it's still stuck to it, I'll put it back in the water. But essentially, we're done at this point for this set step. Okay, the cabbage is cooled. I got the majority of the big leaves off. The remainder, I put back in the water just in case I need emergency pieces. So now, I'll drain that a little bit. What we got to do is we got to cut off the ridge right here. So I take a fairly dull carry knife just for safety 
and just go along. I'll cut it off like that and I'll set it back in. And then I'll repeat that to all of them. And it just makes it way easier to fold them. Okay, we're ready for the fun part. We're going to fill our uh, cabbage and roll. Uh, Preheat your uh, oven to uh, 350 degrees. All right, let's get started. I just take it, put it in the palm of my hand, take the desired amount, put it in the middle, and then I'll fold the back a little bit, fold the side, fold the side again, and then tuck in like that. And put in your roaster or whatever kind of pan you're using. Do a few of these here. Don't overfill them, it makes it hard to roll. And tuck it in. It's a little tough one from the inside, but it's still very easy to roll. Get another nice big giant one here. Fill it in the middle. Roll the bottom. Tuck the sides. And then roll the front over. And then place it down. Okay, all the gwumkies are rolled. Um, I'm going to add the soup now. I'm going to use uh, probably three cans of uh, soup, but I'm only going to use about three quarters of the water uh, added to it. And I'm going to mix it all in a separate pot before I pour it in. Okay, we got three cans of tomato soup with the water. Blended well. Get it all in there. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, now we're gonna take this, put the lid on, we're gonna put it in the oven for an hour and a half at 350 degrees, and done. Okay, it's been an hour and a half. Let's take them out and give them a look. Oh yeah, oh, it smells so good. All right, we'll take one out and give them a try. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, it looks so good and smells delicious. We can hold it. Oh, that looks perfect. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Anyways, this is it. Any Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you can, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, everyone have a great day. Thank you.